since I already have a video on old garden roses and modern garden roses, um, I thought I'd just put a video together that has both of them, a uh, highlight over both of them um, together at the same video. I'll have a link for both of those individual videos. I have a little bit more detail um, in the description below. For my purposes, an old garden rose is any rose that belongs to a class that was in existence prior to 1867, which is what is considered the first hybrid tea, which was La France. Um, a modern garden rose is a rose that belongs to any class that came into existence after 1867 or after La France. With the old garden roses, I'm going to break the term old garden roses as an umbrella into multiple groups. Um, but two major groups would be the European old garden roses and then the Chinese influenced old garden roses. Underneath the old gar the European old garden roses, um, the classes are Gallica, Moss, Cenifolias, Albas, Damasks. Um, underneath the Chinese influenced, I'm putting um, the China roses, the teas, the noisettes, the bourbons, the Portlands, and hybrid perpetuals. With the European old garden roses, um, they're usually once blooming. Um, oftentimes they'll sucker, especially with the Gallicas. Um, you can also, I've, for me, I found um, several old garden roses, European old garden roses in cemeteries. There are some Chinese influenced as well, but I would say that the majority of ones that I find are usually the European old garden roses. Um, with the Gallicas, some of the notable um, roses in those classes are Charles de Mills, Tuscany Superb, uh, a newer version read by Paul Barton is Marianne, also Ellen Toffelmeyer. Um, they do have some striped ones, such as Rosamundi, which is the Gallica uh, officinal officinalis, or the Apothecary's uh, Sport. Um, Tricolor de Flander is also a um, striped flower. The moss roses have a mossy growth, which to my nose smells a lot like uh, pine-ish. Um, not as bad as like the pine uh, tree scent that you find in a car freshener, but I have heard it described similar to that. Um, some of the uh, roses that fall underneath the moss category is William Lobb, Scarlet Moss, and again, a newer one, uh, Treasure Trail. Scarlet Moss is new. It was brought by uh, Ralph Moore. Treasure Trail is by Paul Barton. Uh, Sunny Folias uh, are, some of them are Sir Centifolia Variegata or Village Maid, uh, Fantaine. Pantene Latour, I probably mispronounced that, and Sponge. Um, some Alba roses are Alba Maxima, Blush Hip, Madame Plantier, a great, blade, great maiden splush. With the Alba roses, you may find that uh, you're going to have the lighter colored, the whites, the pink, the lighter pinks. Um, also, a bluish gray foliage is a general. Um, identification of a lot of the roses um as a general rule the european old garden roses uh have the pinks purples white uh mauve colored flowers whereas the chinese influence are going to have your reds your yellows scarlet colored roses some damask roses would be autumn damask, which re does repeat in the fall. Um, Lita, Madame Hardy, uh, some of the Chinese influenced roses would be, but underneath China's roses would be Old Blush, um, Slater's Crimson, Metabolis. Some teas would be Monsieur Tillier. Safrano, 
Madame Lombard. A newer tea would be Licorice Tea, um, bred by Paul Barnard. And some of the noisettes would be Champagne's Pink Cluster Blush Noisette. A newer one, uh, bred by John Starnes, is Lemon Zen. Um, these next three groups are Chinese influenced, um, but they do have quite a bit of overlap with the European Old Garden Roses. Uh, one of them is Bourbon Class, which has both repeat and non-repeat blooming roses. Some of those varieties of roses in the bourbons are Varigata di, di Bologna, uh, Louis Odier, and Souvenir de la Nation. Uh, another class that falls in the influenced by Chinese um, is the Portland Roses, and you'll find Comte de Chambord. Uh, the nursery that I bought this rose from sold it as a Portland, but you can find it also listed as a hybrid perpetual. Um, the rose is Arthur de Sensal. Uh, there's also Duchessa de Portland. The hybrid perpetuals, uh, some of them would be Frau Karl Druski, Ferdinand Pichard, and Baron Provost. Um, the hybrid perpetuals, they used to cross with the tea roses and resulted in La France, or that's the reported, believed to be cross, to create the hybrid teas. So the large uh, umbrella of the modern garden roses is, includes the hybrid teas. Um, so La France, also Peace, Double Delight, Mr. Lincoln, Oklahoma, a few. Floribundas, which include Iceberg, Angel Face, Betty Pryor, Grandiflores, which include About Face, uh, Queen Elizabeth, Cherry Parfait. Modern Garden Roses also class, uh, include a large group called Shrub Roses, which can be broken down into a few others, such as David Austin. Um, knockout Roses are also shrubs. Some of the David Austin Roses are Abraham Darby, Evelyn, Teasing Georgia, Graham Thomas, to name a few. Uh, modern garden roses also have the classification of mini roses or miniature roses. Um, some of those are Rise and Shine, Charlie Brown, Bees Knees, Golden Sunblaze. Um, so some basic differences between the modern garden and old garden roses is that a lot of the modern garden roses will do repeat throughout the growing season, whereas uh, quite a few of the old garden roses will not. The old garden roses that do repeat are often the Chinese influenced roses. Um, so there's a probably, well, now on market today, it's probably more Chinese influenced than old garden, but I have not done research to confirm that. Uh, another difference between modern garden and old garden roses. At least for me, I found that the European old garden roses have a tendency to be more cold hardy than modern garden roses, and even more cold hardy than even the uh, Chinese influenced old garden roses. Um, and I've also found that the modern garden roses have a tendency to be shinier leafed than the old, the European old garden roses. Um, the flower form is also usually with the old garden roses have a tendency to be more cupped or uh, not necessarily full or petaled but more of like cupped or globed or something like that whereas uh, the Chinese influenced tea uh, roses especially the teas um, are heading toward more what we think as rose or florist rose um, and thank you for your time and have a good day